Yo, come on, come on, oh, nothing but love, nothing but respect, you know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we is, and what we is, is here today, bringing you guys and girls, Hunter Hunter, chapter 402, we're getting straight into the greatness that is Hunter Hunter, but before we do, you know what to do, you know what is appreciated, you know what is expected at this point in time, share the love by subscribing to the channel, help us hit our new goal of 500 subscribers, 500 subscribers, um, hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this, give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff, but now that you have, let's get into the Hunter Hunter greatness. So we're picking up, uh, chapter 402 is titled The Letter. Um, in the event that the 3rd, 5th, and 14th princes be the last standing, the 5th and 14th princes will withdraw from the succession war. Prince Wobel, I understand, but... To Beppa, on the other hand, have any official documents been drawn up as proof? Yes. In addition, Prince Wobel's team has requested that Sakata and Hashito remain with them indefinitely. So, on top of our peace treaty, Kuroprika also accepted the uh, my partner contract. Affirmative. His only condition that the prince and queen be present when he comes to the room. And the third prince's private guard has requested they be present as well to divulge information. That actually, that's actually better for us. If we get to live with Prince Wobel and the queen too, so they're colluding with Wobel. No, with Kuropika. Here's a token of my appreciation. This is your second queen, right? The more you accumulate, the greater the reward. Yes, sir. It would be an honor. By the way, if you keep that on you at all times, you will be endowed with good luck. Including a surrender clause is progress. But in this war... Well, but in this war, is surrendering even a positive thing? And what's with that coin? I assume that something would happen after the 10th day. But perhaps it won't activate whilst it's in my possession. So Raznik didn't come to the banquet meaning an alliance with me isn't one of his priorities. And I can't waste time while Benjamin's private soldiers are targeting me. I need to redirect their attention to Chirai somehow. At the next meeting, please highlight how close you are to Prince Chirai's side of the First Prince's Guard. And he can still see the mass ass and then beast there looking like a damn chameleon. Her nen beast appeared right after signing the peace treaty. If that wasn't just a coincidence, then it means a conditional type ability. Oh, and we're looking at wait, is that a lighter? No, it's a blood sample kit? One of our country's many mass murder tools. A flaw was discovered, so it never made it out of development, but if used properly, it can be the perfect silent killer. At first, the symptoms resemble gastrointestinitis, and it's this misdiagnosis that will lead people to think it's infectious. It own If one plays it by the book and quarantines a target, you can keep unnecessary deaths down. The viral bodies are weak and won't last 30 seconds once airborne. But should a human inhale it during that time, it'll spread throughout the body and cause multiple organ failures within half a day. If that causes the target's body to decompose quicker, so the bacteria will help mask the cause of death in the autopsy. In a room with no air circulation, it has a 100% success rate at the hotspot. It fell out of use because the potentially falls off rapidly as you go further away from its deployment. But it's perfect for this task. Ooh, and he's got it in his shoe. With this, I'll erase Halberg. How many seconds? 9.67. Damn, finally beat it. To, oh, finally beat 10 seconds, huh? Still a long day to go. Let's try again in another 10 seconds. Really? I had mastered Zetsu from birth, and it still took me an entire year of training to reach this level. They even call it the 10 second wall, and yet, 11th day, Wednesday, 8am, so this is another day later. Half a year for me is one day for him. What a monster. 
Theta was right. Judging from his personality, this guy will just use politics or Nen to satisfy his own desires. I've got to do something. No. It's excellent progress. This growth is unprecedented. According to her, an ability activates when he enters Zetsu, which is incredibly rare even among specialists. My only theory is that when a Nen beast is constantly blessed with such a raw amount of aura, and then has it cut off by Zetsu, the ability triggers. Then again, Theta being manipulated by the attack she suffered is also a possibility. Regardless, I've still not yet even seen the thing. Prince. It's about the hunter named Senritsu. Uh-huh. I'd be stupid to make a move without more information. It seems the Justice Bureau also doubts her alibi and has decided to prolong her custody. Prince Benjamin appears to be one of the same to be of the same opinion. He's posted his own soldiers to keep lockout. Don't get outmaneuvered by that giant oaf. Keep meeting with her. Get her on our side and find out what she's thinking. He's maintaining Zetsu while running, playing a game and talking. Only those who have trained for decades should be able to do that. I can't even do that. This sucks. I feel insecure just watching him. Theta, you're amazing. Oh, wait. I saw it when she was getting changed. Looks like a bad bug bite. Definitely wasn't there when she tried to escape. This. This looks like injection marks. That's not possible. After we tried to escape, she returned to her room and then got brought straight here. I know that it's likely a new mark. A mark? Some Nen users have several conditions in order to use their abilities. She's likely stepped on a trap and accidentally cleared one of them. Remember how strange she was acting yesterday? It's my magic. I could only use it once a day before, but all of a sudden, I'm able to use it as much as I like. Wait, so a Nen user has tricked her into thinking she can use it as many times as she likes? We have to test her ability. I'm sure two doors will appear. One of them will be the enemy's trap. We have to show her and convince her. Convince her? She'll quit the second she realizes it's an attack. That'd be nice. Judging by her actions, she may be addicted. You're telling me it's like a drug? How awful! It's all I can think of that could explain such a sudden change. At first, I thought one of the princes who requested a visit wanted to negotiate, but I was mistaken. At this rate, her body and soul won't last more than a few days. It must be a non-discriminatory type attack that affects all who get caught in the trap. What can we do? Well, we have to stop the use of it. Finding them without any leads is not impossible. I've got an idea. The seventh prince, Lazarus. Yeah? He's got uh, he's got to be using the mafia to flip drugs. Makes sense. It wouldn't be strange if that was his Nen beast. But the prince himself might be unaware of the attack. So even if you're right, getting him to stop will be almost impossible. Then we've got to beat him, or at least his Nenbees. There's no time to waste. I understand how you feel, but we need a plan. I've got one. Fuchin did a bunch of tests to see how far she can go with her power. I don't know if there's some kind of barrier sealing the ship, but she couldn't open a door outside of it. That said, she did manage to connect to a room with a lifeboat meaning she can go there whenever she likes. But there's still one thing we've never been able to test. Whether or not another person can enter the tunnel. Exactly. But I liked, but I think it should be fine. The condition is, the outgoing door shuts if Fuchin enters it. And the return door shuts if I enter it. Meaning that, we'll en that until we enter, others are free to use the doors. I would really like you to test it, Senritsu. When we were kids, we had servants join our games too. Hmm. Kacho, we're going to need more personnel. At least someone to carry Prince Lazarus to the lifeboat while I keep him unconscious with my flute. Ideally, he would agree to do the escape plan and go on his own accord. But I doubt he's that stupid. 
so we're going to need your ability center into. Next up is someone to poison or restrain him, right then and there. No, it's best if the cause of death remains ambiguous. I will carry him. Doing it during our intel gathering makes for a, the perfect alibi. His private guard will probably claim they were hypnotized by your sound, but that won't be a problem. I'm sure they would test positive for drugs, so we could chalk it up as a hallucination. The story will be suffering from an overdose. The prince made plans to flee the ship and passed away from a sudden heart attack. Thoughts? I don't have any problems with the plan per se. There's just one thing. Where will you link the door to? Prince Lazarus's room, right? Which means Fugetsu needs to have actually been there, correct? Yeah. I don't follow. Can you explain? Fugetsu needs to have been to the area where she wants to use her ability. So she'll need to get into Prince Lazarus's private chambers. Isn't she already gone, gone? You know what I mean? I swear I remember that she got lost by the monsters on the outside of the boat. Leave that to me as well. Just think of a reason why Prince Fugetsu would need to meet their other princes. Just... The Justice Bureau is monitoring her, so naturally will accompany her... There should be no risk of assassination. Other princes, not just Prince Lazarus. It's a good opportunity to increase the amount of locations she can use, as well as hiding our true objective. You're right. It's cleaner that way. So how about this? Not bad. Claiming the letter is your dying message will intrigue the prince, and they'll likely accept if it, accept it if we vouch that it's safe. As a precaution, it'll allow us to direct access without information, oh, with, without informing them about our visit. But I'm not, but I'm not sure they'll let a younger prince hand it to them directly, especially Lazarus. I'm sure he has a ton of things in his room he doesn't want the Justice Bureau seeing. Well, that depends on my negotiation skills. Worst case scenario, I'll file for a warrant and enter by force, inform Prince Fugetsu. I believe I've already made uh, my feelings clear, but no, it's fine. We, we get it. There's something else I'd like to confirm. If you assist us further, you won't be able to return. Are you really okay betraying, ev betting everything on us? Of course, it's not only out of my feelings for you. I support Fugetsu's claim because I believe it'll lead to the radical change the system needs. Especially with Kacho by her side which will appease her mother as well. I can't even... I can't hear even the faintest change to his heartbeat. As long as I can't determine if he's lying, I have to be prudent and think of him as an enemy. I didn't join the Justice Bureau to blindly uphold laws. It was to make this world a better place. For now, we still have to value... Uh, we still have to value to him or whoever's manipulating him. I must maintain this relationship for Prince Fugetsu's sake. And if that means dying, my hands, uh, if that means dirtying my hands, I'll gladly shoulder that burden, even if that new world rejects me in the end. And they all charge off. Yeah, she looks shook though. I request a meeting with the first prince. State your business. We would like to deliver a letter penned by the tenth prince, Kacho, for the first prince. Before Prince Kacho passed away, she penned letters addressed to each to each prince. She wished for them, for each of them to be handed directly to the princes upon her death. The Justice Bureau will stand responsible for any potential hazardous materials such as gunpowder or drugs should they be found within the letter. To prevent any tampering, we ask that the Prince Fugetsu be permitted to deliver the letter. Pass it over, I'll hand it to the Prince. This letter likely contains important information pertaining to the succession war. If we go against the departed prince's wish, then the credibility of this document may be put into question. Please confirm with the prince. Understood. Let them through. There's one small thing nagging me. Speak. I see. This is very bad, and it's only the preliminary symptoms. Thank you for granting me permission to visit Big Brother. Do I have permission to cross the room? Of course. Ooh, is that... Ooh, that's his one. They were exercised just as I thought. 
They are low-ranking curses that possess those that have weak hearts and frail bodies. It doesn't appear to be Fugetsu's own guardian envies, nor part of a plan. Did they latch on to her due to her despair at losing our sister? She won't last another 10 days like this. And you want me to open it while you are present? If that is satisfactory. In case there's information relating to the success, eh, relating to the succession war, I can act as the Justice Bureau's witness. Hmm. Nothing political, just a standard letter. I see no reason to show you. Letter aside, have you found Miss uh, Musi yet? No, not yet. Judging from the first, oh, judging from the time, first Prince Benjamin froze communications. We searched the most critical locations, but have yet to find anything. We can still search all the prince's bases by force if you like. No point. We both know the debate on who actually wields a power in Kakin always ends up in a stalemate. Regardless, it's not urgent enough to warrant imposing martial law. You're right. I'm glad he's so forthcoming. There are different levels of law enforcement. This case, uh, this case would only be a military level crisis. But he jumped straight to considering martial law, which only governs national level threats. This confirms Prince Benjamin's plans to abuse his powers. He was so focused on the letter that he let his true thoughts slip. We were right to come when Captain ah, Balsamolko was away. It seems like having all the princes read the letters was a good call. I'm actually thankful. Meeting face-to-face -face is a small price to pay if it keeps the Justice Bureau off my back. We're the ones who are grateful for your cooperation. Facilitating communication between princes is one of our priorities. Really sucks about you, big sis, eh? Indeed. Thank you for your condolences. Hmm? Well, I'll be damned. She went out with a bang, huh? She mentioned anything about these letters to you? Like, you all received the same letter too? No, she didn't mention a thing. Guess she wouldn't want her little sis getting caught up in this. I don't relate directly to the war. But best let one of the Bureau bigwids read this. I'll confirm its contents, even though I'm the one who leaked it and had Kacha write them. It's a great opportunity to shake up the other prince's dynamics too. How do you intend on doing that? The Bureau has gathered confidential information on each of the princes. They're like little bombs we keep close to our chest in order to maintain peace and balance, and I can assure, assure you that they will shake things up. Does it make any uh, does it make sense for a young prince like Kacho to know that kind of information? Well, if the princes sniff the source of the leak, they'll get frantic, sure. If people start looking into Fugetsu, I'll protect her. I'll ensure she's not sent back to those dangerous dormitories, at least not until the war is over. I didn't expect Lazurus to reveal his letter. Maybe he's more scrupulous than anticipated. It contains information about Prince Sarasnik. But if, if it's only this letter, then it amounts to nothing more than a rumour. She's like, I don't care who wins as long as it's not Sarasnik. It could just be meant to stir the pot. But I'm sure if you look hard enough, you will find some dirt. Not that I should be thinking. Something ain't sitting right here. Why would she be using her dying message to drop bombs about the other princes, rather than protecting her little sis? Did she just lose the plot? The contents of each letter must be different for each prince. Like, let the snakes eat each other, while I eat four... While I eat four... She could ask Big Ben to protect her. Dear little sis, tricky stitch. I'll have to keep an eye out. What's right and what's wrong ain't for me to decide. You can hold on to that letter. That's the Bureau's job. But this letter's sus. It's all about balance, my man. It went great. If you're feeling tired, we can claim your unwell and pass on the other princess. No, I'm fine. I want to help any way I can. Oh, and all of them just... Did all of them just dislatch? All of them just dislatched. 
Prince Fugetsu, got a minute? My name's Basho. I'm a friend and colleague of Senritsu. Oh, nice to meet you. What can I do you for? Is it true you're feeling under the weather? If so, I may be able to help. Pure incident light. By including divine terms in the haiku in the case of healing or purification light, this nen ability activates this effect increases more with the use of seasonal words. It's a good luck charm. Hang on to it. Thank you. I'm grateful for your time and kindness. That should keep the lowest ranking curses away at least. But nothing's going to change if she doesn't deal with what's eating her away. The rest of it's up to you, Senritsu. Yo, this chapter is long. Not that I'm complaining, but like... <sighs> we should think of alternative plans in case Lazarus isn't the culprit. Let's begin the moment food Shin awakens. If we have her move to a doctor's room for rehabilitation, we can post guards and bureau members to keep watch. It's the perfect alibi, right? Basho has given us a little more time, but we still have determined the culprit. Thinking about practically, I can use an ocarina, but... It won't change the fact that I can't do anything else when using my ability. Not to worry. If the tunnel is only 10 meters long, I can carry him by myself. Other than these two, the only other princes in, the, in tier 2 is Halkenberg, and the rumbling earlier occurred directly above us. So either his ability or his guardian then beast must have been the cause. We need to figure out whether... Him collapsing was intended or just a side effect? I want as much information as possible and hand him the letter immediately once he awakens. No problems. I've put someone very close to the job on the hand. On the job. Close to me on the job. We have given the ninth prince all of the information. Benjamin's secret, Sir Isaac evil doings, and even the truth about Halkenberg's own birth. It's enough to flip the war on its head. Let's hope Halkenberg can put this intel to use. Plus, one last letter to Kuroprika. The prince can't leave the boat as long as this damned war is still ongoing. But I'm sure you can come up with a plan that won't spill any more royal blood. Find the hidden path out of this war. Chapter 402N. <laughs> okay, the Hunter Hunter world is definitely spicing up. Um, that being said, this is chapter 402 of Hunter x Hunter. Um, honestly, 401 was a little bit better. 402 was a mad info dump though, and I do love it. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do. You know what is appreciated. You know what is expected at this point in time. Subscribe to the channel. Help us hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Share, like, and all that good stuff. Comment in the comment section down below if I've missed anything or if you've got any theories, this, that, and the other. Um, while you're checking that out, though, check out the link tree in the description down below. It'll take you to things like my Twitter, Twitch, Discord, where you can join and talk anything anime and manga related, and my TikTok, where you can follow me and see all my short form content, see me talk about all sorts of series. But uh, until the next chapter of uh hunter hunter or until the next video of mine we watch whatever it is you're here for thank you guys and girls for coming through couldn't do it without you nothing but love nothing but respect peace have a damn good day goodbye